Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen, Pastor Joanne. Now, the Lord Jehovah, the Lord Jehovah El Gibor, Jehovah Eloheno, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah El Rohi, our shepherd, Jehovah Sabaoth, he has spoken with me on three consecutive nights culminating into the conversation of this past night about the meeting that is coming up in Nigeria, in Lagos. Again, Jehovah, the Lord, our Creator, the Lord El Olam, He has been visiting with me and speaking with me for three consecutive days, nights, uh, talking to me about the meeting that's coming up in Lagos, Nigeria, the mission that we are living now to. And uh, in this conversation, today was quite elaborate. In this one of this day, he was very extensive. He took me to Nigeria, he took me to Lagos, and showed me quite a lot of things that he wanted me to see in that land and regarding the church. And uh, this becomes uh, yet another very, very important moment in the history of the Church of Christ, world over, the body of Christ. Because it's a time, again, when the Lord is focused, when he has, he has trained his focus onto the Church, that he may be able to give her attention that is commensurate with this time we are in. And in the first conversation, about three days ago, the Lord did show me the healing service that will take place in Nigeria, in Lagos. And I see a very powerful, tremendous healing anointing that will come down into that land. When he brings his servant into that land at the healing service, Again, the Lord has spoken about the massive healing service that will take place in Nigeria, in Lagos, the mission to which we are living now. And I saw very fresh, in his speaking with me, he presented a very fresh anointing, healing anointing, that will visit that blessed nation of Nigeria. The people that really, really love the Lord so much, people that long to have a well uh, streamlined relationship with the Lord and in that conversation the first one he showed me that and then the second conversation he again came and showed me a massive healing anointing that will come down there the healing service that will take place in Lagos in Nigeria blessed visitation of the Lord when the Blessed One of Israel will visit them. Uh, this is very important because it begins a new dispensation in the church in Nigeria, in Lagos, that when the Lord will bring me there, the Lord will cause me to make certain decrees about the land and the church, and they will come to pass. They will hold, take hold of the land. Those decrees that will be made in Lagos, in Nigeria, and in the third conversation today, it was quite elaborate. The Lord first showed me the healing service that will take place in Lagos, in Nigeria. And then after that, the Lord now wanted to show me the other side of the issues of concern that he once addressed in that church, in that land. Well, I see a lot of prostitutes. I'm very surprised. I know that he has spoken with me again and again of the different nations about prostitution, but I have never seen what the Lord showed me today about the level of sexual sin that goes on in Nigeria, in Lagos, particularly Lagos. And many times he kept taking me to different parts of Lagos, showing me the nudity of women, even in the church, and outside there, until he took me even to the brothels today. The Lord took me to the brothels. I saw the many, many women, and they pay. There's a place where people paid. 
they, they line up there. So the Lord made me also line up there to make payment there. Again, the Lord took me to the brothels of Lagos, and I lined up with them there, and I heard everything they were saying. They were paying. They were paying for these prostitutes. And these prostitutes, some of them are really young and so forth. And as they went there, even a certain man, I heard a certain man complaining, saying, no, I had come for the other one. Why, why are you people giving me another one? So I heard everything that happened within the dark back streets of Lagos and the dark front streets of Lagos. And the Lord continued to show me the nudity of the women, of the women. And that he showed me all through, including inside the church. In the entire streets, I was walking the streets in the land and inside the church. And then after that, then he showed me that the land it was quite dry at that time, dry. But now this healing anointing that comes, now we'll be able to, to bring into that land, the dispensation of the open heavens in that land. However, the Lord is drawing my attention to the events in the land that when I get to Lagos, I may be able to decree the demands of the Lord at this hour. That that nation may be called to repentance. That those servants that are hosting this visitation there may now take lead and champion this across the nation of Nigeria and call the nation to a national repentance and the turning away from sin, beginning from Lagos. So this is the conversation. This is the situation right now in, in Nigeria. The Lord wants to love them. The Lord is coming to visit them in a tremendous way. He will make his decrees there. He will make his oracles, his holy oracles known to the land for this hour. But in the process, he will call on the land to address the issues, the contradictions in the church, the controversies in the land. I have seen the meeting of the Lord that is coming to Lagos, Nigeria, and I believe that this now marks in this conversation the way the Lord has spoken three nights consecutively. I believe now this marks a very important time, the watershed moment for the church in Nigeria, that if they will grasp this, then they will begin for the dispensation of a mega revival, a historic revival that has never visited that land as we see in Kenya now. This is the entire object of the mission. The objective, the purpose of this mission is that after then, there be a massive repentance and a historic mega revival visit the blessed nation of Nigeria, the people that love the Lord more than Kenya. I know the most historic revival since the earth was created is now in Kenya. But I also know that the Nigerians love the Lord so much only that they did not get the right direction. The church got the wrong direction. So you can imagine the Lord has begin, began a process in Spanish, you can say rescater, a rescue process to rescue the church and redirect her back to the right course. You can imagine how humongous and how mega the holy revival, the holiness and righteousness revival that will hit Nigeria can be, will be. You can imagine for yourself. And this is the conversation the Lord is having with me about the church in Nigeria, the nation that has such a tremendous influence world over, that at this point, if they will hearken to the words of the Lord, the demands of the Lord, the requirements of the Lord, to repent and return to righteousness, He shall use them and use the church even globally. This is the reason the Lord is speaking. This is the reason the Lord is sending me to Nigeria. And again, I see a lot of things. I see a lot of decay in the church. I see the pastors doing another gospel. They're living another life. They're living a life that is not consistent with the word because they are pursuing a lot of things in Nigeria. Deception, lies, 
truth gospel. Many, many occult practices in the church. I have seen all that. The Lord has drawn that to my attention now that he's sending me there. However, the Lord is also saying that, look, this is the window of retrieve that, that even Kenya began from a very occult place, a place of sin, the lapidation, deprivation, and they were so depraved and they were so desolate. But now there's a huge revival, the heavens are open. And the Lord is saying, I am no respecter of person, I am no respecter of nation. But even Nigeria, this is the moment for Nigeria. This is the hour when the Lord is going to decree the open heavens in Nigeria, and the people of Nigeria that so much love the Lord will now be able to embrace the fear of God and redirect the course of their salvation and now pursue righteousness and holiness as a lifestyle and that they too may now be on this glorious highway to holiness, to the kingdom of God. You can imagine how big the Lagos revival will be when it all breaks out after this massive decree that is going to take place there. I believe that this is just the beginning of the many nations on which the Lord will launch me to Lagos, Nigeria, that that nation may see the latter revival of Jehovah. How blessed is Jehovah, our God. Surely he must be a humble, a resilient, a patient God, so patient with us, that we can even remember us at this hour, nation by nation. I have seen the coming of the Messiah, and all these events are tailored toward the grand, the, the grand culmination, the grand finale, the grand triumphant coming of the glorious, victorious King. May those who have ears repent and prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah. Shalom. <laughs>